Hey Garnstead fans, it's Kimber in the craft room. I have a lot of friends that say they're not crafty, they are gardeners, and they'd love to have something fun and whimsical in their garden, but they just aren't crafty people. And I thought, well I can solve that problem. I am definitely a crafty person. I love all my crafts that I do, and I really want everybody else to feel comfortable with doing crafts themselves. And I've noticed that a lot of my friends that say they aren't crafty, really just don't know where to start. And of course they don't have the supplies because it's not something that they do on a regular basis. I, on the other hand, have tons of supplies and I love doing crafts. So I wanted to put together a quick and fun and easy craft that even non-crafty people can do. And especially a craft for people who are gardeners. So I came up with some quick and easy garden gnomes. So you've probably seen people paint rocks so pretty similar to that idea, except for that you're gonna make your own garden gnomes instead of using rocks. So all you need for this are a few things actually. You need some air dry clay. It does not have to be this brand. Any kind of air dry clay is perfectly fine. You're gonna need some acrylic paints and of course a paintbrush and a black marker and a pencil if you want to draw on your face before you paint it. And then of course you'll want to have a bowl with some water and a paper towel or napkin to dry off your brush. But that's it. It isn't too much stuff to get. You probably have some paints and a paintbrush around and a marker and pencil. So the air dry clay is probably the only thing you're going to need to be able to get. And you can buy that online or you can buy it in any of the big box stores around. And all that you do for this quick and easy craft is take a little bit of the air dry clay and you're going to mold it into whatever shape you want to. But think about the smaller it is, the faster it will dry. So you're gonna need a little bit of dry time as well. So I just took a small amount and it looks very funny at the beginning before it's painted. And just think about the shape of a rock. Think about the shape of a gnome. So they have a curved little head or hat, a curved hat. And so I just made the basic shape, just the curved hat and then the form for the body. And you can make it any shape that you want to. You can make them plumpy little garden gnomes or you can make them skinny little garden gnomes. And you're just gonna form it to however you like and just think about the hat and just lay them out to dry overnight. And depending how big they are, this one was dry before I even went to bed actually and then this one was dry the next morning. So they don't take too terribly long to dry but if you're not a crafty person, it's great because you're not sitting down to do a craft for a long period of time. You just mold your clay, set it out to dry, wash your hands, and off to bed you go. Then the next day you can come back and you can paint. So you're just going to paint whatever colors you choose. You paint the hat, paint the head, paint the shirt, paint the pants, paint whatever it is that you want to paint on here. And they're just the basic shapes. And then you let those dry and acrylic paint almost instantly dries on these. So I just painted these and they're instantly ready to go. Now if you want to, you can use a pencil and you can draw on here the shapes that you want to so that you follow the lines. If you're a little bit more of a perfectionist or if you just need more of a guide. But then when you're done, once it dries, you can just paint a little face on there and that's it. They're super easy, super quick, and definitely fun little whimsical guys to put in your garden. And these are really great when you go to plant your garden in the spring that you can set them down in your garden to mark where you planted your seeds. So that's it. That is a quick and easy whimsical craft that any non-crafter can do.